Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you can see, the Canadian wildfire smoke has taken over the skies of New York and made for this very eerie backdrop. Nonetheless, we are so excited to announce that we are done with our quick build wings and they have been relocated from our garage to the airport where they will stay until we are ready to hang them on the fuselage. This video is going to be all about the wing tips, what we completed on them, what we're saving for later, the method we're using to attach them, and of course, we have some fun flying and summer project updates. For now, let's rewind and get back to the garage. So, we just want to finish the wing tips, and we've been putting it off because we don't want to mess up the fiberglass. We thought, just quickly come out in the garage and do it, but no, we got to remove the arm of the autopilot servo so that we can get the aileron centering bracket back in before we can start the wing tip. This is how the wing tips come in the kit. After you center the aileron, you have to trim the edges to actually fit on the wing and around the aileron brackets. We're gonna go with the method of taking off as little bit as possible in order to get it to fit onto the wing. We're going to use our Dremel, we're gonna cut it, and hopefully get this thing mounted. This just takes time and multiple test fits to get right. Keep in mind that the trailing edge will eventually also need to be cut to match the aileron, but for now, we focused on getting the fit just right before drilling into the fiberglass. We also paid special attention to the trailing edge of the wingtip, making sure that it was straight all the way down the wing. The second wingtip understandably went quicker than the first. Once Cliff notched out the edges for the aileron bracket and trimmed down the sides, it was time for the hard part, mounting it straight in all directions. This was a time-consuming part of adjusting, taping, checking, repeat. We tried using the strap method, however, with two people found it easier to just hold the pressure on to expand it out until it fit nicely. Again, no crooked trailing edges on our watch. Once we were satisfied with that, it was time to drill them all out and start prepping to attach the nut plates. Hi, hello. Okay, so we are doing something, again, really fun today. So, we are working on our wing tips, and we've already drilled them out to the proper size, but the fun part is little nut plate jig. I've been so excited to use it. I already did a few, so I'm going to point the camera down and show you how we use it. There are multiple ways to attach the wing tips to the wing, from using a piano hinge to riveting it on permanently. We wanted to have the option to remove the wing tips as needed and chose the nut plate and screw method. This involves drilling and countersinking the fiberglass before riveting the nut plates onto the inside. We also needed to drill and dimple the wing skins to accept the screws. Final little piece is a wingtip rib. It's done, it's primed. Slide it in. We're gonna Clico it, but we found that it was a little bit better on the other one to pop some rivets in first. The wingtips are basically at a point where we're gonna stop for now. We just got the wingtip ribs in. This is where the aileron goes so it's because there's nothing back there this is where it connects to the wing some people flip these around we just did it to the plans all that's technically left for us to do with these which we're just going to do kind of as a side project while we're waiting for parts or whatever um, while we're working on the fuselage but we have to install the landing and taxi lights we have to install the nav strobe lights and we got to cut the plexiglass and secure it to here and then on one of the tips we're gonna have to put the VOR antenna for now we're gonna go mount these on the wing put the ailerons and the flaps on so we can admire them a little bit and bring the fuselage home 
We've had a flyout event on our calendar for the beginning of May that we were so happy the weather stayed nice for. Take a break and come camping with us. We just got to Bayport. It is absolutely gorgeous out. We are all going to Pennsylvania for our camp out. So it's about an hour and 20 minute flight there. Um, we are gonna be going under JFK airspace. We're gonna take the low route. Yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Let's go. Bayport Aerodrome had nine planes fly out and enjoy the weekend at Heritage Field. We enjoyed a crazy German food truck, a hangar dance with a hot air balloon, some truly cutthroat cornhole competition, s'mores by the campfire, and one very cold night in a tent. We are so thankful for the host and can't wait to see some of our Pennsylvania friends at a Bayport event in the future. Whether we're flying or building, this is definitely what general aviation is all about. We had to do three trips total in the pickup truck to transport the wings out to the airport. One for each wing and one for the wing stand. We can't wait to put the control surfaces back on to the wings because they look so good with the controls and the wing tips on. Now that these are done, we've been asked, what is next? Well, we've decided to postpone bringing the fuselage home just for a month or so. Every summer, we trailer up to Maine for a land speed racing event, which we will be bringing three motorcycles to this year. Instead of the fuselage, we brought this bike home, which we are really hoping to break a record or two with. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. We will see you next time.